What's up, everybody? Good afternoon. Welcome to the Monday edition of Wrestle Talk Radio. I am your host, CJ Matthews, and today we have a lot to get into. So let's not waste any time and let's get and let's get it started, shall we? I was on location in San Diego at HWA's West Coast show. It was a hell of a card. It was a hell of a match. I mean, non-stop action. But basically, but we're but we'll get to that. We'll get to that a little bit later. Um now, before I bring out JK Ross, there's some a few announcements that I want to make. Now, BCW heavyweight champion Garrett Speard has announced yesterday that he is going on a world tour. That means he's beaten everyone in BCW. He wants to challenge the best. So he put out an open challenge to anyone who wants to challenge in any EFED, it doesn't matter which one it is, who wants to step up and challenge the best or according to his words the true American wrestling machine so that came out of the camp of Garrett Spear BCW heavyweight champion with that basically being said um free agent wrestler Deontay, Deontay Bats and his brothers, the Bat Boys, are pretty much tearing it up, or they, or they like to call themselves BBB. They are pretty much tearing it up on the on the indie, on the indies, and man, they, I can see them being signed really soon. But if you're ever on the EFEDs, all the EFEDs or whatever, you felt owners. Check out these guys. I mean, these guys are really good. I mean, I I was at a show in Tennessee. Man, these school, these three dudes are tearing it up. I mean, I'm telling you, tearing it up. But anyway, moving on. And there's another, there's another hot free agent out there. Bianca, Bianca Jenkins. What can I say about her? She, wow. I mean, this, this, her, this girl can probably give any female in the EFED a run for her money. I mean, she's a mat technician. She's a powerhouse. She can brawl. I mean, wow. I mean, well, if you, like I said, if you ever on any scenes, you have to check out these hot young talent, the agents. I mean, why they haven't been signed yet, I don't know. But anyway, moving on, moving on from them. Three dub. Yes, what can I say about that? Um, they had a great pay per view a while back. Contention, it was good. I mean. Uh, everybody and their mother came out and um, noticed a few controversies. And basically, there seems to be an interesting situation between, uh, especially one of its stars, Devil Dog. It seems to me that Devil Dog finds himself in an interesting situation with, with another wrestler, James Black. Now, <laughs> these guys, I read their history. These guys were friends. I mean, for some reason, I guess Devil Dog did something to James, and he's not happy about it. So, basically, there's a whole lot of issues there. Um, Devil Dog called out James Black, and he showed up. But instead of greeting him, hugging him, he punched him in the face. Now, what? Now the history behind that, I don't know. But, but, but believe me, ladies and gentlemen, we will... Stay on top of the story and what's going on in 3-Dub. Because this is some serious hot information that you don't want to miss. 
And besides the situation with James Black, it seems that another wrestler wants to pretty much throw his name into the hat with the Devil Dog feud is Hollywood is the CWGP Heavyweight Ch Intercontinental Champion from Japan, Hollywood Shane Jericho. Now, for those of you who don't know who Shane Jericho is, Jericho is a part of an interesting wrestling family known as Jericho. I mean, you know who his father, some of you know who his father is, and his mother is Stephanie Jericho, CEO of WEW, and um, his brothers, Junior and Brandon, his sister Tiffany, they all, all became wrestlers, and a lot of them wrestled in Japan. And it seems to me that the whole Jericho family came to 3-Dub at that pay-per-view and pretty much witnessed, I guess, witnessed a situation where, where, where James Black had a match with Cold Shields and it's been, and Devil Dog was accused even by the announcer saying that he pulled the leg and everybody's chiming in on it. And basically Shane doing what Shane normally does during the pot and pretty much you know what now these two had words for each other on Twitter he said don't know who you are and blah 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 but this is um before I went to HW pay per view I was actually in an interview I did an basic interview with at at his home at Shane no at his gym in Massachusetts where Shane was training for his match in the upcoming weeks against Okada for the CWTP Heavyweight Champ in the Continental Championship. And this is what he said. He said about the situation with Devil Dog from 3 Dog. That and as I quote, remember ladies and gentlemen, these are his words. He says I quote Devil Dog might not know who I am, but when I get done you want to know me? Watch my film. Watch, Google me on YouTube. Watch all my matches on YouTube. You're going to know me. I am the ever stating, never quitting, always glorified, too quick, too legit to fool, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. I am Shane Hollywood Shane Jericho, a member of the elite wrestling family the Jerichos there is no wrestling family better than us now he went on to say so he talked about his opponent Okada but also he said that if devil dog ever wants to lace it up and fight I'm not too hard to find I will fight him in the parking lot I will fight him in the ring I will fight him out back it does not matter to me when I get done with this old bastard, I'm going to put him down and pretty much, and that's going to be that. Mm. Tough words, strong words from this guy. Eh, I don't know. Shane, but here's the thing. A lot of people, here's the thing with Shane. Yeah, he talks too much and he rubs a lot of people the wrong way. But trust me when I tell you, Shane can bring it in the ring. He can back it up in the ring. He's a hell of a good wrestler. I'm not going to know that. Shane is very good in the ring. So, basically. But his brothers, I mean, they're also good too. But, um, anyway, but enough about that. So, anyway. Okay. Um, J.K. Ross, the client of the agent of Manny Ortiz and Tyler Ace, who's on his way to the studio. He'll be here in a couple of minutes. I would just like to um, state and say that congratulations to a lot of the people, a lot of guys. Um, congratulations to the resistance for being, for holding titles in multiple organizations. Congratulations to them. But, uh, oh, he's here? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome as I hand the mic over to you, sir, J.K. Ross. Thank you, C.J. Thank you, C.J. Matthews. Um, it's great to be here. 
on behalf of my clients, Tyler Ace and Manny the Bull Ortiz, I would like to basically stay and make the current announcements. As occurring, but first things first, we will address the the elephant in the room. People are wondering what's going to happen to Tyler Ace and Manny the Bull Ortiz, since a lot of people seem to be appearing in 3-dub. And even though they also made their appearance at 3-dub at their peer review, when the whole world was stunned and shocked when they see the members of E5 reunited for the first time since the dismissal from EWA. And these are statements from my two clients. Manny Bobola Ortiz has been suspended for two weeks from HWA. Now the question is, will he return to HWA when, once his suspension is up? I don't know. That's still basically up in the air. Tyler is supposed to be, he's working hard to come back so he can wrestle in the ring again. Will he ever wrestle in the HWA ring again? I don't know. But the, my clients have made it perfectly clear that they will honor their contract obligations to HWA and they will not jump ship before their contract ends with Hybrid Wrestling Alliance. Both of my clients are happy that they're with Hybrid Wrestling Alliance. They enjoy wrestling for their fans on the East and also the West Coast. Tyler Ace have also said and stated that he, when he gets back, there's a certain wrestler he would like to work with and get in the ring with. The identity of that wrestler will be upcoming very soon. Manny also have stated that he has not forgotten about what Trey Jeter did and that he will follow him to the ends of the earth until he basically gets his hands on Trey Jeter or get an explanation on why he attacked him after his match with the Dutch destroyer Vinny Jones. Oh, so um so basically what you're saying is that your clients have or will not be jumping ship due to whatever was going on in HWA. My clients have stated that they will keep hold up their contracts obligations to HWA. Their contracts are with HWA, not whatever that other thing is. Ah, oh, wow. Interesting. Interesting. So, um, how is Manny doing since he hasn't been in the HWA ring? Well, my client is doing very fine. He's been home with his family, home with his wife, home with his child, and basically he's supporting his wife with her wrestling career. And most of you know, his wife is Akira Ortiz and also another professional wrestler who happens to be a part of a wrestling family herself. But um, basically she's doing, they're all doing fine. Oh, very good, very good. Um, well, do we know what to expect from your clients, Manny Ortiz and Tyler Ace? Well, I will have to basically say this. 20, 2020 will be an exciting year for both of my clients. So I suggest everybody to look out because it's going to be great. Well, thank you for joining us, J.K. Ross, and uh, we look forward in to see what's going on in your client's career. Well, thank you for having me, and I'll keep everyone up to date with what's going on. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, moving on, as I show winding down, say, um, I was at the um, show on the West Coast, and I witnessed, it was a great show, it really was, but I would have to say what stuns me, the controversial ending to that match between Will King and Ezreal of the, of the Resistance. Ezreal won the title from a crooked referee who pretty much popped out at two and basically, I don't, I don't know, where the hell they do that at? I don't know. My opinion, the bell should be given back to Will King. But we'll touch on that on the next show. We'd like to thank everybody for joining us and I'll see you next Friday. After the matches. Goodbye, everybody.